Back here on the highlight zone, Sparks and Shock. Detroit leads the East, but the game was secondary to what happened in the final second. Cheryl Ford misses a free throw. Candace Parker gets the rebound. Ford rips it away from her after the whistle. Two players get into it a little bit there, and that would set up this. Seconds later, free throws for L.A. Watch Parker and Clinette Pearson. After the free throws made, Parker takes Pearson down. Now Pearson hops right back up to retaliate, and here we go. We got a fight at center court. Lisa Leslie gets knocked down in the midst of the melee. Coach is coming off the bench trying to separate the players. The referees trying to get in there. What is it about the Palace of Auburn Hills? We had the Pacers and the Pistons brawl a few years back, and now we got the Sparks and the Shock. Parker on the floor, pulls Pearson down. Deanna Nolan then tackles Parker. So they had to be separated. Now Pearson, as her teammates are pulling her away, one of them actually gets hurt. We'll, we'll put an arrow on Cheryl Ford. Watch what happens to her knee as she's trying to restrain her teammate. The knee buckles right there. So she falls to the deck, has to be carted off in a wheelchair. And in another development, watch you knock Lisa Leslie down to the floor. It's former bad boy Rick Mulhorn, who's now an assistant under Bill Lambeer in Detroit. Leslie's teammate, Delisha Milton-Jones, reacts by punching Mahorn from behind. Mahorn, Milton-Jones, Parker, and Pearson all ejected. Fines and suspension sure to follow, and all the talk afterwards centered around the fight. Rick Mahorn is uh, known as a peacemaker from even the, when they brawl we had here with Indiana. Uh, he went out there to get people off the, off the pile and to get people to stop uh, a confrontation. Um, and, and that's who he is. That's what he does. When I looked back, I saw Candace was on the floor and she was on top of her. And my thought was just to run over and try to, you know, get her off of her or help Candace up or, you know, help Candace. And then um, on my way running back, the, the coach just stepped in and he pushed me down. And I have no idea why he did that. He should have. He was closer to his player on top of my, my teammate. I've been in this league for a long time in the NBA and then now in the WNBA on my fourth year. This is a women's game. I know I would never put my hands on a woman to make them hurt themselves. I was trying to protect the whole game, the integrity of the game. The WNBA is very special to me because I have four daughters. I don't even raise my hand to them, and I would never push a woman. I, this game, I love this game too much.